keeping our eye on Abilene as tensions continue to rise across the U.S. surrounding racial inequality. KTAB's Zadika Hill spoke with one key city man that's taking matters into his own hands. I'm providing something that I feel can be substantive that can affect the political arena so we can stop having to show up to these candlelight vigils because someone else has lost their life. Demetrius Earthly is a community activist here in Abilene and has created an independent political party. In the two-party system, if you don't participate and if neither one of these parties have your interests in line, you have to form your own. And I created my own party called the Juneteenth Party. The party's agenda is to push forward policies that benefit African American communities. We fight for reparations. We fight for financial literacy. We fight for citizen review boards. We fight for term limits for congressmen. And we also fight for crimes against humanity in front of the UN for the treatment of the black man here in America. The social climate fueling Earthly's fire for change. These rallies, they, they make you feel good, but they're not coming out with substance. I've been looking at local politics and that's where you got to start. You got to win your neighbor, then your neighborhood, and then your city. Earthly says it only takes a small group to make a big difference. Most of the elections are decided anywhere from 150 to 200 votes, so I'm looking for 300 people that's looking to change the landscape here locally. And the group is currently holding a voter registration drive to get as many people ready to vote in time. I want us to get out of the emotional part of politics and start looking at the actual policies and put forth our own policies so we can make change and effectively change the conditions that, that creates the George Floyd situations. In Abilene, with coverage you can count on, Danica Hill, Kate Tab News. Thank you, Danica. The Juneteenth party held their second meeting this morning and are hosting this year's Juneteenth celebration at Stevenson Park this coming Friday.